here on the field with Gulf Coast head coach Jack Wright. Jack, it was homecoming. Got off to a little bit of a slow start, but defense just kept throwing zeros up there, and, and y'all were able to get it turned on. What do you think of the overall effort today? Uh, you know, we kept getting opportunities offensively, and eventually, you know, we got some stuff going. But that is really just a credit to our defense to give us those chances. You know, a bunch of short fields for us on offense, and, and we battled against that some this year. So it felt good to be on the other side of that today. Y'all, y'all, I think doubled them in total yardage in the first half. But really, once the defense kind of got you some turnovers, you mentioned short fields. With all that stuff adds up, I thought Ladarian Craig's pick was huge. For it did a huge momentum changer. A little frustrating, you know. I think we came out of uh, the locker room and went three and out. Um, we had to punt, and that was kind of a momentum killer. But Craig made that huge play down the field. They tried a trick play. Ball's in the air long enough for him to track it and react. And, and he had a big return, too. You know, he got about 20, 30, 40 yards on the return. And so that was really a momentum changer. We took it from there and scored, and that kind of started the whole uh, yeah. process. He, he just told us he saw the, his receiver going across, and he figured there was something coming, and he just got back deep, and he was back there. Under pressure, they were behind the chains a lot because they couldn't run the football and in those positions to have to throw. So, just really an overall incredible defense, defensive performance. I mean, nothing really on their end that they could get going, run, running or throwing. You know, even when uh, a lot of times, Don, when the other offense is struggling, you know, a big play from them's coming. You know, something's going to get them going, and so you're just waiting for it and hoping it's not too bad. But it didn't happen today. We we, we hung on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, gained them. It was 400 and something to 100 and. 16 something like that so it was really a, a dominant performance offensively you did get going there in the second half what you what were you able to kind of hang your hat on you know i'll be honest with you it was really some of our younger guys that started making plays um i think you know they've been working really hard all year you know due to fletcher jalen davis uh, they haven't gotten a lot of the attention and the touches that that janalan and jamari have gotten but man they've been right there at practice uh, working really hard <laughs> Been telling them the whole year, you're going to get your chance. You're going to get your opportunity. You're going to go in and make a difference in one of these games here at the end. And it was really tickled to see, uh, you know, Duda get involved. Jalen Davis, Davis got involved. And just a credit for them to stay with it this year and keep working and getting better. And that was all behind some young offensive linemen, too. We did a lot of subbing uh, today, especially late in the game on the offensive line. That young uh, puppy offensive line performed really well. Yeah, Duda, I think, had two touchdowns. Jalen got two touchdowns, uh, finished with 93 yards on 20 carries. So he was effective, you know, average-wise, too. Yeah. Um, I know you've already talked to him. I heard you talk to him in the in the post game. Jones got beat to get beat today. That doesn't really change anything in the division race, but I'm sure it's going to change the, the motivation next week. You know, we were the only team that had to win, Don, and so we, we took care of business. You know, next week's game is next week's game, and uh, they'll be up and ready to go for us for, you know, for some playoff implications at their place next week. Our kids will be ready. They'll be, they'll be charged up. So it'll be a great game. Jones Gulf Coast for the South. You know, I mean, it seems to happen every year, so it's no different. Yeah, we're, we're staring at another one of these tiebreaker situations if we're able to win out, but that'll get us into the playoffs so we control our own destiny. We so need to win. Good. You know, we need to win just because it's the next game. We need to win because of playoffs. We need to win because, you know, there's somewhat of a rival. So it's just a big game. Our kids know all those things and, and, and looking forward to getting them ready this week. Yeah, y'all have been in playoff mode here for a few weeks, so this is just another another uh, another check mark on that checklist man in the south don in this conference you're always in playoff mode i mean it's winter go home every week and you know the good thing is your kids get used to playing under a little bit of pressure as a coaching staff we kind of get used to it so it next next week's a big game for sure and if, if people look at this final score and see it's 41 nothing it's, it, wasn't it, like it was that not it was not that kind of game you know hines played really well especially defensively you know we we've got you know some weapons on offense and we we struggle to get going but it was a much tighter game than the scoreboard uh indicates Congratulations, Jack. Thank you, Don. Here on the field with defensive back Ladarian Craig from Mobile, Alabama. Ladarian, you guys held uh, held Hines to 109 yards total offense. What did y'all do today that was so effective? We Everybody came in. We was locked in. We knew what we wanted. We knew what the goal was, and we got it done. Offense, I think, got off to a little bit of a slow start, but y'all just kept you know, keeping the zero up there. What, what were y'all talking about there in the first half? It, it's just about having each other's back. Whenever they couldn't do it, we had to step up and do it for them, and it all worked out great. You, you're here talking because you got two interceptions. The first one, there 
still in the game. They got a chance. They run that flea flicker. What did you see on that play? Uh, I seen my, my receiver, my one, I seen him run back to the other side, and I knew it was a trick, so I had to get back as far as I can, and the ball came to me. Good job, Ladarian. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. You're on the field with running back Jalen Davis from Katy, Texas. Jalen, uh, 20 carries, 94 yards, had a couple touchdowns. Yes, sir. You hadn't had a lot of action. What did it feel like to, to get out there and make a mark? I mean, it feels good to uh, replace my brothers. They, they've been hurt. So, and I've, I've been at practice, getting a lot of reps, and, and I just I filled in the shoes. And I've, I've always been ready. I've always been prepared. The coaches know that. Uh, circumstances, I got injured early in the year. and. And I, and I shook back and just kept pushing. Yeah, I know you, you got nicked up there towards the end of fall, uh, fall camp, and, and Coach Wright talked about how hard you've been working in practice. What's it like going out there in practice and, and, and not getting all the work you want on, thir on a Thursday night? Uh, it's, very, it's very humbling. Uh, it teaches me patience, life lessons, actually, because you can put in so much work, and sometimes it won't pay off until it's your time, and I leave that to God at the end of the day. So. Mm -hmm. Got two touchdowns. I know that's got to feel good yes, for you. What, mm -hmm. what what was it like getting it in the end zone? Uh, I feel I feel like I'm home again. Yeah, uh, I'm used. To, I, was, I was always used to scoring touchdowns, so it kind of back to feeling that normal that normal feeling again. I always talk about to the offensive guys about the, the defense and what they did, and they set you up for those two touchdowns. Jalen or Jadarian Craig had the big interception. Yes, sir, my boy. Field. What what did you see from the regulators today? I really I really I really believe we got the best defense and. In all, in all of uh, JUCO, to be honest, and they they continue to push even when things get hard. We may offense may not go score at uh, some moments, and they never give up and they they stay with a fire with a fire on like to play with, um, sir. You got um, big game next week against Jones. Um, I know you guys don't get a lot of time to look at it. You're from Texas. You're not a Mississippi mm -hmm. kid who's grown up, you know, paying attention to these things. What do you know about them? Well, I know I know they're they're next up on the list, and and I know that we we play every team the same, and then a lot of teams play us like a championship game because go close to team to beat, go close to the standard. So we're, we're really excited, and it starts tomorrow actually. Uh, we got a light lift tomorrow, and we're gonna get back to doing the basics. Yes, sir. Yeah. With short with homecoming being today, you get a little bit of a short week, so uh, it'll be a good day for recovery tomorrow. Yes, and sir. Then get focused up. Congratulations, yes, Jalen. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir.